Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am doing a Setup Saturday video featuring the Coco Daisy Daisy Planner and the Koi Pond Collection Kit. I um, have busted into my kit, and um, I'm pulling out um, what I'm using for June, and I'm punching with the Happy Planner Punch. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I typically prefer the arc punch. However, I am finding that I, for the daisy planner, I actually really like the happy planner punch because the neck is a little longer and the pages stay in better. Um, anyway, so how I use the Daisy Planner is I use it for my work and content planning. And so I love, 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 love the vertical pages. And I'm just not really using the horizontal pages right now. Um, and so I am going to cover up these two pages and make basically like a dashboard and and then like a goals page on the other side. So I'm using these pocket cards from the Modern Memory Koi Pond Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And I am um, just adding them straight to the page. Um, this allows me to cover a large portion of the page while also being super cute. And, um, you know, having it having, I, I'm not going to use these pocket cards otherwise. And so putting them in my memory planner makes sense to me. They're a little, or sorry, in my, in my Daisy planner, they're a little too big for my memory planner and I'm not doing much with pocket pages right now. So there's that. Those are the colors I am using with this Koi Pond collection. And I'm, I'm just going to be honest. These are the colors I use pretty much every month. <laughs> Some form of these colors get used quite a bit. Um, so the Distressed Oxide Speckled Egg, Distressed Oxide Scattered Straw, um, fossil, Fossilized Amber has been out of the mix for a little while and I'm bringing it back in. I will mention that this ink, this particular ink, the Fossilized Amber, is a very... Um, saturated ink and so it will um, have a little bit of ghosting in the daisy planner however um, I end up covering pretty much every bit of page and so it doesn't it doesn't bother me um, so I used the um, new general store alpha stamp to make the three sections, work, make, and home. And I decided to use the stamp set from the step-by-step, -step, memory planning step-by-step -step bundle, class bundle, still available, um, and to use for my um, three little check boxes. And these are just sort of three things that I either need to get done or would like to get done this month. So some goals for June. Um, the work ones have to get done, um, most of them. And then the other ones are just sort of like, it'd be good if I did this. <laughs> um, you saw that I used a little bit of the um, bag that the memory keeping classified kit came in. And I love craft paper and I don't often have it on hand unless it's in a bag format. And so I have no trouble, I have no problem ripping up a bag and using it on a page. So I do a lot of stamping in this video and partly because I love stamps, but also because I am very in love with the stamp sets that came in the memory keeping kits for the Koi Pond collection. Particularly, I'm super excited about the new Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit stamp set. It will have a similar design um, each month, so I'm which I'm very excited about, which means it'll have the month, it'll have the month number, and then it'll have some sort of grid with some other elements to it. And I am just 
I am very excited about this reformatting and especially for the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit because um, it just, I've already used it in, a tra in my Traveler's Notebook. If you saw the previous video, you'll see that I set up a whole mini journal with it. So I'm just very, very excited about this new stamp set. Um, big old stamping failed, not really a fail, just didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to for the month part on the craft paper. So no big deal, grabbed a label and just stamped onto the label. And, um, and I will adhere that on once it dries a little. Oh, and I'll add up just a little bit more deco to it with this little leaf stamp. Um, so this, again, this page is just a goals page, just for something for me to look at before I open the rest of my planner. And I think it's really cute. And it's a really fun way to use, if you're not using the horizontal pages, it's a really fun way to not have to, you know, it adhe just adhere pages together. You can actually utilize the pages in a different way. Um, time to do some decorating to the left page. I'm going to add up just a few die cuts and um, a little bit more of that craft paper just because I I'm here for it and this whole time I am looking at that let the summer begin pocket card knowing that it, it needs some more color I want to bring the colors from the right side of the page over to the left side of the page so as I'm decorating, I'm sort of have that in the back of my mind that I will be, I need to add something to that uh, pocket card, the, the large top pocket card. And here, here is the winner, which is um, a little bit of that uh, washi strip from, I believe this is from the memory keeping sticker kit. And it was perfect. It was like the perfect amount of color that I wanted for the page. And, um, and then I will add a little bit of black and white because your girl can't help herself. And, and then a couple of these little labels up to the top. I don't have a lot of use for these little labels. And so I like using them kind of purely as decorative elements. So now we're moving on to the monthly section so the month on two pages I'm going to create um, kind of like a faux washi across the top of the page with um, this June stamp set and I, you know I said I, I warned you I love this stamp and I love that we are getting a month stamp I, I have I have month stamps but I don't have Coco Daisy month stamps and so and I love the font I think it's really neat and um, just looks really fun across the page and once again I'm using those same colors oh the colors additional colors are I believe tattered rose and a little dew drop I think it's like coral or something anyways a couple others but these are kind of again these are all my go-to's um, I, I just really was excited about the colors in this collection and use another stamp to create kind of a, just a decorative element across the top. Um, and then on to the, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to add the month. This time I'm going to be smarter and I'm going to just start by uh, stamping on a piece of sticker paper. I will use my circle punch to punch it out, put it to the side, let it, let it dry a little bit. And then, oh, well, yes, I will add it to the page, but it will, it will not stay exactly like that. Now we will add the dates. Got to refer to my already dated planner to know what the first day of the month is. And this is pretty self-explanatory, just dating the pages. Um, the only, only different thing is I... I sometimes like to go, I, I actually really like having the date in the middle of the day of the week. Um, I don't know. I just think it looks nice. And then I'm going to add 
once again, some more stamps to um, embellish the monthly page. Um, and because it's we're moving into summer months, um, I don't know. I, I Well, this is true most months. I don't honestly know at the beginning of the month what is ha what will happen <laughs> throughout the month. There's usually like one or two things I know, but most of it I don't know. The one thing I do know is my work blog schedule, and that does go in my planner, and I will share that a little bit later. I'm using this stamp to, I will create three decorative elements, three little clusters with this stamp set by just repeat stamping it in different places. And then um, I'll add another one right in the middle. I will do, I will, so I don't get ink on my desk, which honestly I have so much ink on my desk already. Um, I, I put a little piece of paper on the bottom. And then I will use different phrases to um, to go with each uh, stamped cluster. Yeah, like the stamps, uh, you know, has these great little little um, sentiments like go with the flow, slow down, here and now. I just, I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of these stamps. Um, needed a little black and white on the page or more black and white on the page, I suppose. Um, and so I'm going to include this little, this piece of pattern, pattern paper. This is a great place to add pattern paper for me because I don't tend to, I often don't have much in my sidebar. I'll add things to my sidebar and then completely forget, you know, to go and refer back to them. So it's just not a very like useful area in my planner. And so having it, but it is a great opportunity to add a pattern from the collection. And so my I'm wrapping up my monthly pages and now I'm going to move on to the um, the weekly pages and oh sorry nope I will do one more I will do one more thing to my monthly and that is I will use this little check checkbox to mark the um, my work related items for the month. So due dates for, um, uh, the Coco Daisy blog, and then also the memory planning class that I am helping to coordinate. And so I will fill in that information off camera. Um, but I love having some sort of signal to my mind of, okay, these are, you know, these are the things that are sort of non-negotiables of the month. And now we will move on to the weeklies. And I have just been, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this um, number stamp. This number stamp came with the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, the afternoon tea collection, but it is also still available in the Coco Daisy store. And I'm pretty sure, like, I will be using this stamp set to date my weeks in this planner forever and ever because I just think it looks so nice with the larger columns you know because the Coco Daisy columns in this planner are are larger than 1.5 I feel like the stamps look really nice here and as you can see I have a system for dating in this planner I you know I will start with the thing that has you know, in this case, the three, because there were multiple threes. And then I went to the zeros. Then I went to the one. And then I went to the two, the four, the five. And I don't know if it's faster or not, but it feels more efficient. <laughs> um, and I will also go ahead and add a little bit of a very minimal decoration to this planner because this definitely acts as a more functional planner for me. I'm, I'm really using it to mark down my lists of things that need to get done, but also things that I, to document the things that I have worked on, just to get a sense of what I'm doing each day. And so I don't, I, I decorate this plan, this weekly insert, but not as much as maybe my memory bullet journal or my memory planner. Um, this acts definitely more as a more functional 
um, place. And I, I love the daisy vertical weeks because again, I like the slightly larger column. It's just nice for making lists. Everything has a little bit more breathing room and I don't tend to do a lot of work on the weekends. And so I don't need the weekends to sort of be front and center like the rest of the day. So this just, this has just been a absolute winner for, um, as a work planner. And I mean, I use it as a memory planner too. It's, it's just, it's just a great planner. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely liking it for memory, for work. Um, I'm going to add just a few of these die cuts. Remember all Coco Daisy die cuts, well, most 99% of them are stickers. So you can just peel the back off and they act like a sticker. Add a little quote, nothing, it doesn't hurt to have a little quote to keep you motivated. And I will add one more decorative element to Tuesday. This is honestly partly to cover up the ink that is behind, um, that, that kind of ghosted from the other page. Um, I didn't necessarily have anything specific on Tuesday that I wanted to note, but this decorative element helps to cover up the stamping. And then I will spare you me stamping the whole month, um, but you will see how I, I switched colors for most of the month and then I just stuck with this speckled egg because it's my favorite color. And lastly, I will add some um, of the minimalist collection grid paper in the classic size. I trim it ever so slightly so that it lines up with the daisy planner and I have it marked on my paper trimmer, trimmer to make it easier and then I will punch it and I just love having I love having a few dot you know grid pages for notes um, and lists and things al alongside my planner so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to check out the blog post and I will see you in my next one bye